I think at the outset all of us must understand and realize that the common people in Kashmir do not want this. The parents, the children, the youth, they are keen that they should not be losing their academic year. And therefore there are a handful of people who are trying to do politics by other means, by putting the career of these youngsters at stake. And the manner this is happening, the parents, the children, are also, in fact, now have gathered courage to come out, in fact, and oppose this. I don't know, maybe there could be a children uprising against a separatist uprising. And please remember, the common man on the streets of Srinagar does not want this kind of disturbance. He, and especially the common youth of Kashmir, wishes to be a part of the development journey led by Prime Minister Modi and wishes to be a beneficiary of all those incredible new schemes and programs which are benefiting the youth in the rest of the country. Though there has been condemnation from even the separatist side, but you think the separatists need to do more to prove that they are real well-wishers of Kashmir? I think it will be in their interest to do so. If they don't do, they will be pushed to the wall and people would compel them to do so. Because you cannot flow against the will of the people. You don't think that they are, during the recent uh, months, the separatists are completely exposed? On one hand, the Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani is coming out with a calendar asking youngsters not to go to school. On the other hand, we have seen his granddaughter appearing in exam in one of the private institutions there in Kashmir Valley. No, as I have already always held out, though it may sound slightly unorthodox. Incidentally, the separatist leaders, most of them in Kashmir, are not separatists by conviction. They are separatists by convenience. And that is how all these things happen.